Hi friends, this is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions. Today's tip is going to be kind of a two for one. We're going to get a tip and an X11 new features all about the new way to create library objects. Actual symbols for library objects. Much easier. Stick around. Let's take a look. So I want this project, this porch, to look like this. And it doesn't look like that just yet. Right now it looks like this here. I've got the stack already made. I've, I've got the brick foundations set up. I've created this brick piece, the limestone cap, and I've dropped in a tapered square um, column at the same time. I could copy, I could make these newels, you know, thin and just copy that whole stack around and, and if I wanted. But I want to um, use this as a consistent um, library object for railings in the future. So first of all, I'm going to size this tapered square column the way it needs to be appropriately. All right, now here's the fun part. X11, we can select these objects. I've got the cap, I've got the brick, I've got the millwork, right? So I'm just going to be in my selection mode here, select objects, and I'm gonna select those three objects. Down in the lower left, it says three objects down there. Uh, so we're ready to go. Three objects selected in the child tool, look at this, convert selected to symbol. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Uh, this is a millwork issue item, so I'm going to add it to the library, show advanced options, click OK. I'm going to call this uh, build, let's call it uh, build up tapered square column. All right, 2D block. That looks fine for our block. This is a newel post type of thing. Well, let's just leave it as other materials. All right, so this is the materials I've given it, and it always takes the, the name and then the material, so the component and then the material. Um, so I'm going to change brown mixed used brick to um, base, and this is going to be the um, cap. This is going to be the taper, and this is going to be the stone cap. This will be the capital, not cap. All right, so the base is going to have the material brown mixed used brick. That's its default. The capital, and I, th I think the capital and the pedestal will be the color bone. The tapered part will be the color bright, and the stone cap will be limestone too. If we have individual materials in the objects, you will have, so we have four individual materials in this selected object. Um, we will have four different um, items that we can change and customize. If you have just one material in the object, you only get one option for painting that object. In this case, we now can control the base, the cap, the pedestal and capital to, are separate, and the uh, square taper is its, its own um, material. If we want it all to be, we could change this material so that the capital by default is color bright. Let's do that. Just color. 
dash right, right here. There we go. Capital and taper colored bright now. Let's click OK. And there's our item, which we can drop in there and, and multiple copy that. But now we can also select our three walls. Let's save this. Select our three railings. Open that up. And let's go into our newels, go into the library. This is under our user catalog. Build up square taper column. Look at that. Give it the right size, 26 inch square. And there is our objects. I can come back in here and select my objects and just delete them. So we don't actually have to turn it into 3D um, rendering and then delete the surfaces we don't want, turn off any surf, you know, type of thing. I've done that many times. You just select the object or objects you want to turn into a library item, send them to library, and it's simple as that. I'm really loving the X11 um, new features. I hope this is a, a, a tip that's helpful for you. If uh, you've learned something new, click that thumbs up down there. As always, subscribe and hit the notification bell and follow along on my website right there. Otherwise, have a great day.